In this video, we're going to take a look at the what happens the first time you run OpenBazaar. There is an initial setup where you create a profile, and we're going to go through those steps right now. And we can from there go and you'd be able to start buying things, or you'd be able to create a store and start selling things, uh, which are things I will cover in more depth in other lessons. So you got to start off by selecting your language. English is selected in this case, but you can scroll down, look through the list, or you can type in and do a search, check the one you want to use, and hit next. And there's an intro text, next, and your country, United States, is selected already for me, so I'm going to go next. Now, on this step, you have to select your currency. Now, I just want to clarify something here. Uh, the Purchases using OpenBazaar are all using Bitcoin. And it's maybe that down the road they may open this up to other cryptocurrencies, but also all products being sold in the store will be purchased with Bitcoin or potentially other cryptos down the road. They will not be purchased with credit cards and that sort of thing. So when you're selecting a currency on the screen, what you are doing is you are actually selecting how you want the Bitcoin prices to be displayed for items that you are browsing and in your own store for that matter, if you set one up. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on Bitcoin for the sake of the argument, but it doesn't really matter. You can display it however you want. It does not have any effect on how it works beyond how it looks to you. So you're gonna hit next. Time zone, I already have, I'm in Hawaii. They have already detected that. The software has detected that for my computer settings. And so I don't have to change anything. Next. And here we're going to create a set of name and a description. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna actually go and I'm, I'm a Doctor Who fan. And for the purpose of the lessons, I had to come up with something to demonstrate that I would be selling in the store when I make those, le for, for when I make those videos. And so I'm just using a couple of little uh, Doctor Who items that I'm going to use. So I'm actually going to call this Doctor Who Fan because um, this is just again it's for a demo, but it's going to make it'll make more sense for me to call it this once you see how I set my store up, which I'm going to cover in a separate lesson. So fan of Doctor Who and cryptocurrency. And you could just, this is again, this is just like a profile on Twitter or something like that where you just, you're putting in a name, putting in a description. And whether or not you want to display not safe for work content, so adult content, things like that, yes or no, I'm gonna leave it on no. So next. And then I have a basic theme, one of six that I can choose. And um, I guess I'll just go with uh, this dark theme here. And next. And then I could set an avatar picture. And uh, you don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna click select avatar. And I have a few photos that I put on here for the purpose of this of the demos of Open Bazaar. So I'm gonna go, I have them on my desktop. Here's Open Bazaar example photos and and I can zoom. So I can drag it to crop it and position it within the uh, how it's being cropped. And then I click uh, next. And I have some suggested pages to follow. Again, this is you kind of think of it like a social media profile like Twitter, Facebook, or, what ha or Instagram or whatever. You follow people on those, same idea here. And you can choose whether or not to follow these people. Um, and I'm just gonna leave them all checked. Next, and then there's a disclaimer you have to agree to. And then you are basically, you have your basic setup. And you have a profile. And from here, you can start browsing if you're shopping, or you can set up a store, and so forth. And we're gonna look at those steps in separate lessons.